Hi there, welcome to our third video in the series with using a one-click metal mPrint machine with NetBab. We've already covered importing an mPrint machine, importing a part, repairing it, setting it up, and support generation. And in this video, we're going to cover setting up for the build process with your printing parameters, toolpath visualization, and then of course exporting to your machine. So we're going to start by going to our machine configuration. You can see that the configuration is empty and we're going to select change. Of course we need to select configuration as we need to tell the machine what parameters to use for the build. Now for some machines there might be configurations provided but for the one click metal mPrint machine we need to add our own which will have been supplied by the vendor on purchasing your machine. To do this right click in the empty space of the configuration editor and select Import eBPA build style. Then select the one click metal eBPA file. We will now enter the password. In this case, it is simply an empty string. Now select the correct configuration material and click import. So eBPA stands for encrypted build style process archive, which allows the proprietary or customized toolpath generation algorithms to be packaged. The contents of an eBPA is encrypted and so a password is needed to access and expose the parameters and the methods. They also allow you to utilize functionality for the advanced toolpath utility module inside NetFab. However, this is beyond the scope of these training videos. Brilliant. So having loaded it in, we're going to go to edit configuration. Here you can see you've got your configuration details and you have your global settings. The configuration details are more on actually the build parameters and the global settings focus more on the machine parameters. Inside configuration details, we can see within the platform configuration, we can see we have the parameter layer thickness set at 0.1 millimeters. We also see a tab for default build strategy. Build strategy is a parameter set for a part specific actions. And within here you have all your print settings. You can assign a certain build strategy to use with certain parts on your build plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this configuration and name it copy and click OK. Within the copy build strategy, we're going to go down to fill type and we're going to set that to offset. This is so we, when we assign the build strategy to our parts, we can see a clear difference. Apply changes. And with that eBPA script selected, we're going to click Select Configuration. Brilliant. You can see in the right, under Machine Configuration window, you can see that the one click metal eBPA is selected. Clicking on our parts, we can then assign which build strategy we want to use for each respective part. So for this one, we're going to click the default solid parts. And for our one on the right, we're going to select the build strategy named copy that we created. Fantastic. Now we're going to move to toolpath visualization. Of course, you do have the option to do a build simulation and or load previous simulation results. On the right you can see your build job analysis showing how the duration of each layer changes with respect to the height throughout the build. You can move the slider up on the right and move through the build and look at the layers at each stage. At the moment we're showing every tenth layer but if we want more detail we can change this and say show every second layer. Zooming in the part and moving up through it, you can see how the part differ from the build strategy selected. Here the hatching is stripe and here on the right the hatching has been set to offset. Of course for a certain layer we can also play through the simulation by clicking the play icon here and you can see the layer play out for us. You can also set the speed with the slider on the right course looking in more deeply 
we can see each of the respective contours and the hatching. Note we can see the build statistics on the right here. Once you make sure everything's OK and we're happy, we can click Export Build Data. We can name the file and click Save. Brilliant, that has written the print file. We're happy with that, so we can click Done. Brilliant, having exported that file, we can load it onto our machine and enjoy printing with NetFab on the One Click Metals mPrint machine.